There's plenty of activities to do here at Kayak Point. Of course, camping is available. We have yurts, which are a dome canvas structure. You don't have to bring your tent. Down at the day use area, there's the Kayak Point Pier, and you can crab and fish off of the pier. There's 3,000 feet of saltwater beach to explore. You can see the whales come up here into Port Susan and they come up to feed on the shrimp. With kayaking and canoeing and paddle boarding, this being a place where people are coming to do that activity where in the past we didn't see that, so it's definitely grown in popularity. And when the water's calm and the tide's out, there's nothing more spectacular than the gliding on that smooth, clear water. Among our parks, we have uh, some that uh, have old growth uh, Pacific Northwest timber on it. Uh, a lot of it is uh, bluff property with the uh, beach below. We have miles of beach that you can walk. Uh, this particular park has got uh, over a mile of sandy beach and it's uh, lined with driftwood. Uh, a great place for beach combing and also a great place just to enjoy the environment and the diversity of the uh, wildlife that's found in this area. This park alone has uh, black-tailed deer, coyotes, mink, uh, big beaver habitat right behind us here in the marsh. Yeah, Stanwood is interesting because it historically a, a, a farming community and it's right on the waterfront but it's really a community of artists and dating back to the 70s there's a strong presence of glass blowing here. There's a big glass blowing community. Uh, Dale Chihuly's Pilchuck uh, School of Glass is here and the city of Stanwood really values the arts. They have um, art fairs every summer and they bring out local artists and they have art galleries and you can walk downtown and see all this hand blown glass and they even blow little glass balls that they'll put out on the beach for people to find. It's also a, a really great place for people in the road bike community. People like to bike the farmlands around. So it makes for a good day of biking and you can stop in town and, and get something to eat. This is a wintering habitat for about 200,000 snow geese that come down from Wrangell Island in Russia and spend the winter here. It's a big attraction in the fall and winter. People come from all over and we have our Snow Goose Festival in uh, the last weekend in February. The unique part about our island is that it's an island that you can drive to. We're only separated from the mainland by a, a slew of water. It's only about 30 feet wide. So uh, it makes it very convenient. No ferries to uh, hassle you and no toll on the bridge either. So <laughs> it's all good.